Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will show you how you turn your smartphone into a document camera by only using an internet browser. It is completely free and better than most of paid software I use. Look at this. My phone turned into a wireless document camera. No lags, no connection problems. It will help many teachers. Let's get started. <laughs> I know a lot of teachers are using their smartphones as document cameras, but they are connecting the same meeting by using two devices. It is good, you can do that, uh, but it has a lot of downsides. And one of them is you cannot make it full screen and students cannot see clearly. But now they can see easily with the help of OBS Ninja. You probably heard of OBS, it's a streaming software, uh, but OBS Ninja is a website. So no software, no application is required, you just need an internet browser. Okay, let me show you how it is done. First of all, go to obs.ninja on your smartphone. You will see three options. Choose the middle one. Add your camera to OBS. You need to give some permissions, and I did it before, so it doesn't show up on the screen. Um, you can choose the camera you want to use, and the audio source. If your audio source is your computer, disable this one from here, um, because always join meetings with only and only one microphone. When you are ready, click start. Okay, my smartphone is ready. Now it's time to connect it to my laptop. It is super easy. You see a green address on top of your phone screen, right? Um, you need to go to that address on your computer. Let's open an internet browser. Enter the address here. I will type it manually. Um, after you open the link, wait a few seconds and yes, you will see this screen. Click play and boom, my phone turned into a wireless camera. This is awesome. The quality is good, response time is great, no problems. You can also use it uh, in landscape mode. Excellent. Um, let's place the phone here. By the way, I am using IPv uplift stand for my phone and the link for the stand is in the description below. I have also a review video. You can check the eye icon on the right top corner and watch the video. Let's check the quality. Yes, it is good. Not the best, uh, but good. I sometimes get a better quality, sometimes worse. I believe it is because of the internet connection. You can also zoom in or out by using your phone. Um, there are also several settings on the phone. You can check those. Let's start writing. Let me write a quick proof for the sign law in acute triangles. Okay, you see guys, it is good. By the way, if you double click the screen, it goes to the full screen mode. Um, great. Um, if you want to use it on your online lectures, let's say on Zoom or any other meeting platform, um, you need to go to the software or website. Just go there, share your screen and choose the window or choose the screen you want to share. That's it. Your students will see your annotations just like that. When you click the three dots icon on the right bottom corner, um, this option pops up. There is also a picture-in-picture -picture mode. It's great. Do you know why? Because you can use the front camera as a webcam with this option. Um, you can change the camera by using the settings on the smartphone. No need to cut the connection. Just click settings and change the camera. Okay, my webcam is ready. I choose it, move it, resize it, and place it wherever I want. I can change the position anytime. It is great. If you don't have a webcam, guys, use this one. It is awesome. I think this video needs to go viral. What do you think? And don't forget to check my other videos. I am sharing cool stuff like that two, three times a week. Yes, hopefully OBS Ninja will help a lot of you guys. Um, it turns your smartphone into a wireless document camera. It is free, you don't need to pay anything. It's better than most paid software I tried in the past. So yeah. That's it for today. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and let me know. I will answer questions as early as possible. See you next time. Goodbye.